Greetings, and welcome back to Dark Souls 2. Now, I was going to make my way to the bonfire before I started the episode, but, uh, get a lot of this. So apparently, it was a good idea that I cheesed that basilisk. It seems like he did a number on these poor souls here. Regardless, time on. Getting back to the bonfire. Chap. Lest level up my strength, I can wield the deformed skull, or I could start working on dexterity, and the few things that that will unlock. Mm. We'll go with 35 strength for now, then we'll start working on dexterity next time. No, of course. Why even offer the option if I don't have it? Let's see. What is this upgrade with? No, not the I knew. I repair. No, not repair. Reinforce. Takes Titanite shards. Damn. Slash and thrust. Slash and thrust, yeah. I guess this is just a really good weapon. Maybe it's the 26 strength and 15 dexterity requirement that's so intimidating about it. I don't know. Now this, this seems nice, but it doesn't scale with anything, so, no. I have three Titanite Shards, that's enough to upgrade something. Twice, I believe. I really do want to get the up Claymore upgraded and start wielding it again. But this thing has proved to be very powerful. Twinkling Titanite for the Dragon Slayer's Thunder Axe. My mace just requires more souls than I have. This takes Twinkling Titanite, I'm not surprised. Yeah, okay. Yep, can only afford the two. I'll be around. I really like some more Titanite shards. Okay, plans. Let's see. I have another fragrant branch of yore, that means I can destone someone. And I already know exactly who I'm going to de-stone. It's not going to be one of the frozen Lion Clan fellows, because I have a feeling that they are just going to attack me and open up access to wherever. Alright, and back in the Blossom of Steel. Let's see. Now, this should be... Yeah! It's much easier to do it that way. Still can't break this in two heads. Still have no idea what this is about. Actually, I want to read that message. Maybe it has a clue. Here is the hollow noises. Wait a minute. That is literally a door to nowhere. Whatever. Oh. Luring skull. Okay. Enemies here. Now then, was the other place I could use the Pharaoh's Lockstone somewhere around the Bastille? There are several people insisting that this is an illusionary wall. I would imagine that that means that if it is, and it's not just a whole lot of people trolling all the time, then there's a Pharaoh's Lockstone slot somewhere that probably opens it. Uh, that's another thing to worry about. A dragon flew past this area once. Now then, the reason I've chosen to come and use the Branch of Yore on this particular statue is because I think I remember a statue, uh, a message in front of the statue saying, Pyromancy. Maybe this person will give me my Pyromancy glove. Or a flame. Who knows. In any case, it definitely looks friendly. 
well, friendlier than the Lion Clan people. Still a bit stiff, I'm afraid. <laughs> I must thank you, young traveler. Young traveler. I am strayed. A wandering sorcerer of sorts. Okay, I'll take magic too. I've been a guest for a very long time. But I don't think that anybody will miss me. <laughs> For the old kingdom to have crumbled, I see. Damn, you're old. Why didn't anyone wake me sooner? <laughs> Drang Lake. I've never heard the name. That's interesting. Is that what they call this place now? Very good. <laughs> Very good indeed. This man has answers to questions that no one has asked for a very long time. The cursed ones were imprisoned within this land. Of course, you came of your own free will. <laughs> the people fear the cursed ones like a plague. Some people would rather keep dreadful things out of sight, out of mind. In the end, they swept them up and corralled them here. So very typical of meek minds, don't you think? <laughs> Once people became aware of their own frailty, they seized anybody they found undesirable, cursed or no, and impounded them here. Oh, lovely. Whoever posed even the slightest threat was removed, all so that they could sleep better at night. They even turned the great strain into a stone. <laughs> Many kingdoms rose and fell on this tract of earth. Mine was by no means the first. Anything that has a beginning also has an end. No flame, however brilliant, does not one day splutter and fade. But then, from the ashes, the flame reignites, and a new kingdom is born, sporting a new face. It is all a curse. <laughs> and it is your cursed flesh that will inherit the flame. <laughs> Pyromancy was created by the ancient Witch of Fire. She harnessed the power of flame and melded it into pyromancy. Hmm. The witch led her daughters into war against the old ones. But legends are legends. What are you prepared to believe? <laughs> Oh, how long was I sat petrified? Long enough for the... Why didn't it? Okay, he's repeating himself now. Trade. Pursuer's Ultra Greatsword. Required items sold to Pursuer. Huh. Known as the mightiest of the straight swords, it demands great strength and dexterity of its wielder. Yep, I don't have that dexterity. Sewer hunts down those branded by the curse, and if he turns the dead soul, he claims it will atone for one of his sins. Giant Stone Axe, Soul of the Lost Giant. Great Axe forged from the Lost Giant's soul. So there I was supposed to be a soul from the Last Giant. Do I not have it anymore? 
Pursuer's Great Shield. Pursuer. For those who can handle the weight of this shield, it offers resistance to curses. Pursuer hunts down those branded by this curse, as every John did sold it. Uh huh. This weapon resembles a primitive stone tool, but it is quite powerful owing to its immense size. The giants were eventually defeated by an unnamed hero, but alas, victory came all too late. Requires Rune Sentinel Soul. Heavy homing soul arrow. Advised by Stray, the great mage of ancient Olafus. Fires thick, powerful soul arrows that seek their targets to the ends of the earth. Soul Shower requires Scorpioness Najka Soul. Do I not have these souls that are readed out? Hurls a huge soul mass, which splits into smaller soul masses that rain from above. Requires real talent and is difficult to handle. Only works in certain places and against certain foes. Hmm. Well, everything in here requires a certain amount of intelligence that I don't have. Why do I not have these souls? Did I put them in my box? Nope. Rings. Ring of Knowledge. Increases knowledge. High Priest of Vulgan. Clerics of the great city of Vulgan are perennially entrenched in scandalous power struggles, but among them remain a few strong-willed upstanding noblemen. Lingering Dragon Crest Ring. Extends the length of spell effect. Ring used long, long ago in a land that existed where Dragon Glaive does now. Extends length of spell effect. Presumably this ring was used by a high sorcerer, but no proof of such remains. Huh. Does that mean that Dragon Glaive stands on Vinheim or on, uh, Ordrin? <clears throat> Brosh water. Stores HP and spell uses. As red holy water, not everyone acknowledges its holy status. Ah, and then magic. Homing soul arrow. Strong magic shield. Cast light. Further back than recollection. It's a light that illuminates one's surroundings. Light banishes dark and reveals all. Whether this is desired is another matter. Respendent life. Slowly restores a large amount of HP. Cleric Forsal of Lindelt was a master of miracles who fought battles across the lands. His allies called him a holy knight, but his enemies feared him for his demonic powers. Certain members of the Melfin Magic Academy scoff at these types of magic. The pursuit, the purists in particular, are disdainful of anything vaguely linked to sword fighting. Alright, so the arrow that follows their targets to the end of the earth. Mage. Lothus. Unveil. <clears throat> the miracle that senses traitors reveals the locations of the nearest enemy or invading dark spirit. Those who serve the Lindelt Monastery willfully adhere to strict commandments. This miracle is created to castigate those who ignore the righteous teachings. Uh, Strayed. Release a static fireball that explodes when falls draw near. Strayed was an oddly gifted mage and well versed in both sources. Oh! I got one of these from the. the. I don't know. Fat dudes with halberds wandering around. Flame swath. Great flames envelop and immolate faraway foes. Strayed, always immersed in magic, never accepted an apprentice. As a result, much of his extensive knowledge is permanently lost. Not anymore. Dark Orb. <clears throat> Modified from an old sorcerer by Giliah, the father of Hexing. Hires a heavy orb of darkness. To use hexes, equip a sacred chime or staff. A tune a hex high on fire. Requires equipment dependent. Required equipments depend on hex. Staff. 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 Dark Hail. Modified by Gil of the Hexer. Both sorcery and miracles, but is viewed as perilous affront to all life and band in most lands. Breathe the mist are instantly assailed by poison. This hex is regarded as a poison due to the outward symptoms, but in fact the mist eats away at the target's inner essence. Just the traits that led to the prohibition of hexing. Dark mass that seems to pursue its target with a will of its own. It appears to be a manifestation of an emotion, perhaps of hate, perhaps of love. Alright, so he's got all sorts of magic. All of it is kind of expensive. I definitely want to pick this up. Uh, what is my... My intelligence is three. Never mind. I couldn't cast it, even if I wanted to. Drang is very... Right, I'm going to see Feel if I... Cast one. Let's hope the magnificence of my spells does not... Okay, I guess you're really pissy that I didn't buy anything. Maybe I should have bought light. 
This is probably not a safe place to do this, but yeah, it looks like I put away a bunch of souls. Okay, that's good. I am happy. I was afraid I had uh, lost these somehow. Alright, there's all that. It looks like Strayed has left this area, therefore so will I. No, not this one. This one. Alright, here I am. Now, I think down here is... Oh, I not have my cat ring on? No, I do not. Yeah, so this is where I used the Pharos Lockstone and it opened Belfry Luna. I feel like there was someplace else I was considering using the Pharos Stone. But, uh, can't remember where it is now. Those sacks of whatever make a very strange sound whenever anything interacts with them. Oh. Bravery required ahead in short jumping. Okay. I don't get it. Oh, there's a ceiling up here. Can I get up there? Eh, it don't look like it. I don't see anything up there. Alright, anyway. Still looking for where there might be another place to use a first lock stone. Mm. I don't remember any place off the top of my head. Can I get up here? I don't look like it. Yeah, I don't think I can. Uh, now, if I remember correctly, I can get onto the well. Or not. Nipping my shit. And my shit has been nipped. Okay, I gotta go get my souls back. And I'm just about out of time. Stop the timer so I don't have to listen to that aggravating buzz. I think I took a wrong turn. Okay, let's try this again more intelligently. Alright, that's two down. Alright, so a strong attack will take care of them in one hit. That's nice. Alright. Got that back. Um, I should have about a minute left. So I'm going to kill the archers and double check that there is an additional... Like, I know I already used the Pharaoh's Lifestone in this relative vicinity before. I'm gonna get shot in the ass. Yep, shot in the ass. And then finished off with the greatsword. That's wonderful. I really hate it when things mess up. Okay, so I am definitely completely out of time now. Um, alright. Let's see. I haven't got the daftest clue where I can use these lock stones in my possession. Um... I don't remember seeing any of the Pharaoh's faces in a long time. Now that one place was called uh, Something Something Pharaoh's that I discovered that had all the Gurm warriors in it. Which reminds me that while I was putting items into the box, I noticed that there are Gurm warrior boots and Gurm boots. So apparently I still have to keep my eyes open for 
a difference in items. The stocky germ are kind natured, but humans deemed them impure and drove them underground. Contact with outsiders. Yep. Okay. Alright, well, that's it for today. I'll see you all next time. Uh, have a good day. Bub. Bye. Huh. Okay, I'm confused. Do summon signs only show up for dark wraiths when I'm hollowed? Or dueling or whatever nonsense. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. I guess maybe I do need to be human to summon help. Could be. Anyway, bye-bye. See you next time. Have a good day. All that stuff. Yeah.